What's going on guys? Philip here doing another review. Today I got something a little bit different. Uh, Y'all haven't seen this on the channel. If you follow my IG or something like that, you have seen uh, this bike. Uh, been keeping it kind of secret, trying to get a few things off of it and kind of get a real good feel of this bike. Just because I've never had an e-bike before. Um, if you follow the channel, we are hunters. We chase hogs. We chase whitetail, dove, duck, you name it, we chase it. Um, and we thought it'd be always cool to have an e-bike to help us out stock up on some pigs, you know, maybe do some drive-bys with them, who knows? And, um, you know, this Himaway Cobra has definitely helped us out a lot. Um, especially if I'm going by myself and I'm chasing loner boars or something like that, or coyotes, man, coyotes, this thing, this thing is definitely a game changer for you, especially if you're trying to cover some land really quick and don't want to be too loud at night. And that's also the thing, we are not, we are being stealthy. We're going at night and um, trying to get as many pigs or many coyotes as we can. And this thing has helped that helped out a lot. But anyway, guys, this is a Himaway Cobra. Go real quick over the bike, and then I'll get into the benefits of having an e-bike. Uh, the first benefit is this is only a $2,300 bike. You know, um, you can get a bikes out there that can go probably up to the $8,000, $9,000 range. Uh, for me, I don't have much experience behind a bike, so you know, $2,300 is still a lot of money, but it's super fun. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I didn't realize how much I, enjoyment I would get out of riding, just riding around. I have never done, this is not a hobby for me, and now it's a hobby for me. I ride this bike all the time. Um, I absolutely love it, not just for hunting, but just you know, being outdoors. It's easy to pack up. It's uh, right at around 80 pounds, so I can throw it back the truck go for a ride, you know, if we go camping or uh, go fishing or something, or I check cows with it all the time. It's, it's a really enjoyment to have. And for $2,300, it's really not a bad deal. Um, it has a 400 pound payload on it. So if you're out West, you know, packing out an elk or a mule deer, you know, you could put that uh, mule deer on your back, you know, quarter it out and everything. And this will help you in a long run, trying to get that animal out of there. Um, if, if, if your area allows it. Um, also, you could probably get a deer cart and get even more, get more if you can figure out how to get a deer cart hooked up on this. I think it'd be easy. It's all aluminum right here, so you could get a, a deer rack and or make something to uh, haul that extra weight out. Um, it goes up to 80 miles on one charge. Um, I'm getting around about actually about 60 to 70, and that's me riding it hard. 22 going 22 miles per hour. That's the top speed I've got out of this thing. 22 miles per hour, hitting it hard. I'm getting about 65 to 70. Um, it does say 80. I imagine 80 is probably for your, you know, your, your paved highways or something like that. Um, but you know, if you're really hitting this thing hard, I'm getting about 65 to 70, which is a lot. You really think about it. That's a lot of miles with this thing, especially if you're out West, you know, you're doing some coyote hunts and you want to cover some land real quiet, real stealthy. This is a great option for you. Um, out West hit, hitting uh, elk, mule deer, um, you know, that's a lot of miles you can get with a, a bike. So, um, and if, if the battery does die, you can still pedal this thing. So uh, real quick on that, um, it is very hard to pedal this thing. You're running four inch tires. It's a heavy bike. It is kind of hard. I'm, I don't have the strength. I can do it, but it's not very pleasant. I will say that. So um, if you want to help on the, uh, get you probably longer life, uh, you can, there's assistance mode. So. It just goes one through five, and if you want to pedal and maybe help that battery go a little bit further, you could pedal, and then when you start getting a little slowed down, the battery will pick up the, that uh, excess weight that's pretty much slowing you down and help you paddle, uh, pedal through all those hard terrains and stuff like that. So that would help you, your, um, you know, get your, your extra miles if you need it. If you're worried about, you know, running the battery down on a, you know, a hunt or you're just on a trail and your battery's starting to die. Um, I haven't had that problem yet. Usually I know I already map out how far I'm going and uh, I haven't had a problem. I've been able to come home and still have, you know, two, three bars left, but I haven't really took it out somewhere like crazy like that. But tires, like I said, I haven't rode a bike since I was 16. I was very scared to be able to get on a bike that goes 20 miles per hour and uh, fall off on it. And I'll tell you right now, you're not, it, this is a very stable bike. It's got shocks in the back, it's got shocks in the seat, it's got shocks in the front. There are adjustable shocks. So if you want to go just all on the highway, you can go uh, to the, where they, they're just straight axle pretty much. Um, 
I've taken this through some very, very rough country. Um, it is super dry in Texas. I've been hitting these cracks. I mean, we got cracks in the ground like this, hitting them, uh, especially at night. And you know, if you if you're gonna get this something like what we're doing and chasing pigs at night, you're gonna need that because you don't you're not gonna be able to see the ground. You're gonna be, you know, worried about what the the pigs doing, you know, whatever the coyotes doing, and you don't want to be, you know, hit something and then fall off. I mean, that's super dangerous. But you know. We usually we go pretty slow we're getting up to them and uh it hasn't been a problem i keep my setup right here this these uh racks do not come with a bike uh i bought these on amazon uh, I, I put my setup right here so i'm i can keep both hands on the bike and uh go to my objective and um, it's been really a very awesome thing to have with us it's just you know i've always thought about having an e-bike but just never thought it would be as cool as i thought it would be um i know the guys other guys are ready to use it i've been just using it trying to get my hands on it and uh, i'm gonna give it out to all the other guys on the team and see how they like it uh but real quick let's talk about the first hunt with this uh, i don't have it all on film i was with myself and uh it was actually out here so we're calving right now and um i had the calves or i had all the cows in the bottom of the pasture uh and i saw coyotes running around i was like okay those ain't calves let me get over there and see what i can do <clears throat> i had a bad wind so i couldn't just uh come straight from the house go straight down to the bottom and get after them i had to go all the way around well uh it was pretty full moon so i got on the bike and i went all the way around got on the highway came back and came up from this uh from the north side and uh, at the time i got up to the gate and I couldn't see the dogs. I, I mean, I couldn't, I, and the only bad thing here is now since I'm facing north, I'm facing towards the house and the cows. Uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm straddling the bike. I got my setup up and there's a coyote. I mean, within 30 to a minute, here comes a coyote, he's running down and here comes another coyote. I mean, they come in within 10 feet, never heard me come up through the pasture they never heard me nothing and it just came up and the full moon they got so close i, I mean the, i was looking through my scope and all i saw was body that's how close they were and they saw me before i could get a uh, get one down and they took off but that was the first experience i had with it and it really like dang they they could not hear me i was like man i, I gotta see what this see how this uh does with some pigs because you know coyotes are very have very good ears now pigs they're mainly work with their nose. Now they do, they, they, they will hit you on uh, some noises if you're too loud, but you know, main thing is, is that nose they have. So you get the wind, get on them. So I picked up the bike, put it back in the truck. I was like, I gotta go find a pig. First thing, I saw two loaner boards out in the pasture, got right up on them, same thing. Boom, I was able to take, take one down. I got within 50 yards and just got them right off the bike. So I just drove up, I'm scanning. I get, I was like, all right, I'm pretty close. So I stop, get my setup, boom, done. <laughs> now, um, it was a big board. I couldn't drag it or pick it up and put it on the bike and go. I had to back the truck up all the way up. I drove my bike all the way to the truck, loaded up. Uh, but it was very cool, very easy. You know, uh, some of us, some places I have, I have to, I have to walk pretty far. Usually, you know, we're we're driving the truck. You know, within 200 yards of the pigs and the walking. Um, but some of those fields, if it's wet, I can't get out there. Um, and it sucks walking 800, 900 yards to a group of pigs and then walking all the way back. So, uh, this thing is definitely going to help me, especially when it starts getting wet and I can't get in those fields where the pigs are. So, um, on some other aspects, like I said, you know, if you're out West and you are a deer hunter or, um, you're chasing elk you know 80 miles that's a lot of range that some guys can't cover in on their feet so but you know if you go go look at check your laws out and see if an e-bike goes under an atv i don't know i don't hunt elk or anything but um you know see if an atv if this follows under an atv because i know some places you can you can use an e-bike but or a bicycle but you can't use atv you know get a gas power so you know to get that extra leverage on those other public land hunters you know grab this bike and it's gonna you're gonna be able to cover a lot more land um i don't have huge mountains but i bet this thing can take it um and help you out a lot they do make a battery pack Himalaya makes a battery pack they're supposed to be sending it to me i haven't got it yet but uh it's a battery pack and i believe you charge it 
and it will charge the bike four times and they make a cart for it so i don't know i don't know about it but if you could plug that battery pack into this bike while you're driving at the same time and you could charge it four times i mean you go across the country with this thing on one charge then uh but i don't get don't quote me on that i don't know if you can or not but you know if you're out in you know if you are camping you get that battery pack or you do have a generator it don't matter get that battery pack charge it four four charges you know that's 320 miles that's a lot of miles um i will say uh i do have a flat on this tire um oh i did have a flat i got a new tube and everything i'm gonna see i don't know much about bikes um but i ran over a huge nail and i popped the tire um, I was still able to get all the way home before it completely went flat and messed up with anything. Uh, but I, I'm going to look and see if I can seal these tube tires up or if there's some tubeless tires I can't have out there. Uh, but I feel like that's, you know, every bike's problem is, you know, you're going to have a flat tire, but a tube doesn't weigh nothing. You can put it in your back, fix it real quick, or put a plug in it however you want to. Um, but that's all I have, guys. You know, if you're a coyote hunter, guys, this is going to be a game changer. Uh, you know, getting into those setups, very stealthy. Uh, no, especially if you're in the thermal industry, you know, not seen, not heard, not smelt. Those coyotes ain't gonna know what's gonna happen. Same with the pigs. You know, if you're if you're a guy by yourself all the time and you're tired of walking around, um, maybe you just, you know, a thousand acre, pa a thousand acre ranch you're hunting on. Park at the gate with your truck and drive around with this thing. It'd be so awesome just to go around, not waste your gas, and just get all the pigs with this guy. It's super easy to do. Um, now, if I use my tripod, I do have a pack that I mount my uh, tripod on and I'll put my setup here. And then, you know, if I wanna get super close and say it's a big group and I wanna use my tripod, I'll do that. But, you know, for loner boards and stuff, this is amazing. Uh, but there's a lot of applications out there you could use this for and especially help you out and, you know, help you out especially the man the mule deer guys that like that the mule deer and the elk i, I don't know why y'all don't have these i i, I would figure more, more and more y'all will have these but um for 2300 dollars, it's hard to beat this bike so um that's all i have i hope y'all enjoyed this segment uh stay tuned because i'm gonna start uploading the footage of all the pigs that we've got behind this thing the coyotes we've got behind this thing so stay tuned um i am gonna put that out there uh, just give us some time, you know, being dry, coyote, or pigs are starting to slow down. Everyone's deer hunting, so we've got the feeders out and instead of being on the our corn fields or underneath the deer feeders. So uh, stay tuned for that. We, we do have a lot more pigs to go after, so stay tuned and uh, see y'all next time. God bless.